In this video, we're going to take another opportunity to run a real-life product that's come to market over the recent years through our six elements method to value proposition creation to see where the weakness in the value proposition might be. And the next one in our series is the Dyson hairdryer. Now, I guess our target will be predominantly women. I don't know whether Dyson segments that down to a lifestyle and an income level. Probably they do, so it's a narrower target of women. But their weakness for me in their value proposition is the insight. What is the current dilemma or insight that they are solving with the Dyson hairdryer? Truth be known, they're not very clear. If you look at the communication, which we can have a look at now. Dyson's Digital Motor V9 is the heart of a new kind of hairdryer. It spins up to 110,000 times per minute with one inaudible frequency. So it's faster and lighter than some other motors, making this hairdryer engineered for balance. Heat and power adjust easily for fast drying, while air temperature is monitored 20 times a second and regulated by a microprocessor, which helps prevent extreme heat damage to protect natural shine. And the Dyson smoothing nozzle produces smooth air that dries and styles simultaneously. Dyson Supersonic, the hairdryer we thought. Now, you can see in the communication, Dyson are all over the shop when it comes to what the problem is. Perhaps your hairdryer is too hot. Perhaps your hairdryer is not powerful enough. Perhaps it's too heavy in your hand. Perhaps it isn't styling your hair correctly. Perhaps it's difficult to use. Now, once we get into the issue that the insight is vague, then we move on to... Block number three, element three, the alternatives. Now, there are plenty of other hair dryers on the market, all of which claim to solve those issues in different ways. We have light hair dryers, we have powerful hair dryers, we have hair dryers that already have diffusers as attachments. So there's a lot of alternatives to that, meaning that the benefit of the Dyson hair dryer is very indistinct. And when we look at their communication, you can see it's a series of bullet points. It's not single-minded, it's lighter, less heat, less energy, easier to hold. That is a very confusing story. And if I stop you again in three months' time and say, remember I showed you that Dyson hairdryer communication? What exactly is the value proposition? What exactly is the superiority? You'll struggle to tell me because there's too much going on and the idea wasn't single-minded. And the second weakness for me in this whole value proposition is in block number five, the reason to believe. Because truth be known, Dyson have created a solution to utilize an existing technology they already had. It's the same fan that they use in a number of other products and they've miniaturized it. And they haven't started with the insight and the target, which is what is the opportunity we should solve? They've started with the pink row, the solution and said, what could we do with this fan next? What kind of product could we stick a fan in? And you are looking at a solution that is technology push. It is being driven with block four, five, and six instead of block one, two, and three. And the result of that is it's a very confusing, expensive solution with a very unclear value proposition.